What's up guys and welcome to my review for The Two Popes. This has been on Netflix since late December and you know what? The Oscars are coming around. I rewatched The Irishman. I put up a video on my second viewing for that, my updated thoughts. So I said, I gotta sit down and watch this Two Popes thing. I've been meaning to do it and I finally did it. So it's Anthony Hopkins and it starts Jonathan Price. Uh, Anthony Hopkins plays the Pope and Jonathan Price plays this arch deacon, arch archbishop who uh, is looking to retire uh, and he has to go through Anthony Hopkins he has to go through the Pope to do it because he's under the age uh, that they're allowed to retire so he has to go through Anthony Hopkins character which leads to a lot of really great scenes between the two of them to where they're talking back and forth on their personal individual views and maybe they bicker a little bit and that's the strongest part of this movie. Their scenes together. There is a lot of really good long sequences in this movie where it's just the two of them walking around, sitting down, talking back and forth about their views. And I thought it was riveting. I thought that part of the movie was really entertaining. I think Anthony Hopkins, Jonathan Price are excellent in this movie. They're giving great performances. But where I think this movie falters for me, where I don't really like this movie as much and where it's less interesting to me, is when the movie sort of goes and takes you back in time and gives you the backstory of Jonathan Price's character and maybe why he wants to retire and why he sort of believes certain things that he does and what he's trying to do in life, you know, so we kind of go back in time and see his past, which is an extensive portion of the movie. And that to me, even though I thought it was well shot, well, well, well acted, well directed, I just felt like even the writing was good, but overall I just think it wasn't as interesting to me and it, it leaves this movie uh, less rewatchable because those scenes with Price and Hopkins are great, but they're maybe 50% of the film. The other 50%, like I said, well directed, well acted, well shot, edited, all this stuff, um, it's just less interesting to me. Uh, but everything with those two guys in this movie, I absolutely loved. But I, there's a lot of it, but is there enough of it? I don't know, because I was really into the story in the now instead of the story in the past. Um, so for me, I liked the two popes, the two popes, the two popes, but uh, I absolutely loved the chemistry between Jonathan Price and Anthony Hopkins. And this movie gets three out of five stars for me. I don't think it's bad. But for me, I don't think it's great simply because there's a lot of stuff that isn't as interesting to me as just these two guys sitting down in a room or outside walking around talking. Uh, but I do recommend it for their performances. You know, it really worked for me in that sense. So guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. Did you see The Two Popes? Do you want to see it? What are your thoughts about it? Are you excited for the Oscar nominations? Do you think this is going to get any? Comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I saw 1917 this morning. Yes, I did. And my review for that is going to come up shortly after this goes up. So very excited to talk to you guys about that. And uh, yeah, guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at King Arises. 131. Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for the two popes. And until next time, over and out. Where should we find him if he's always moving? On the journey? Oh, perhaps we'll find God over there on the journey. I'll introduce you to him. God.